New mini star abilities, the removal of RNG. This is, of course, many news! First story of the day, we got some RNG news. So a few days ago, Vlad tweeted that if you hate RNG, you will love the future changes. So I'm assuming that he's either talking about the RNG of critical hits, especially the P.E.K.K.A. and the mini P.E.K.K.A. Or he's talking about clash ability RNG. Both of them are sometimes quite annoying. I don't think he's referring to the special tiles such as mirror and shell tile because there are ways to counter them and outplay the tile. But what I think could be happening is that the critical hit RNG could be removed and replaced with a critical hit every X amount of attacks like the Wave Master's level 8 ability. Or it could be just a big nerf to all intrusive clash abilities, namely the Spirit Goblin, Prince, Bowler and Fisherman. So they are not just used for their clash abilities. But I am seeing a big question surrounding the tweet, which is, are they coming in the mid-season balance changes or the next update? The answer I think is, well, if it is simple nerfs and changes, then yeah, I think it's the mid-season balance changes. But if we see some systemic changes and it changes how clash abilities work entirely, then probably the next update, because that just seems like update content. Moving on, we might see new abilities for two minis, and they are, the Musketeer and the Royal Ghost. If you go to the fan kit, you can see this ability icon list, and if you look down there, the Musketeer's second star looks different from the in-game icon. Same for these two icons for the Royal Ghost. Now they could be just testing new abilities during development and scrapped it for the current one. And to be honest, I think both of those abilities in the game aren't in need of changes, so they're probably just testing new abilities but don't be surprised if they are changed. Now we got some very unfortunate news about Clash Quest. So a few days ago, it was announced that Clash Quest will be shut down. And to the Clash Quest players, I'm so sorry, I can't imagine just actively playing the game for more than a year, then you see it cancelled. So I hope you guys are doing all right. Ironically, that is what we might be doing in Clash Mini right now. Which leads me to my point, which is, it does make you think about the possibility of Clash Mini being shut down. Obviously, Clash Mini is still a relatively successful beta game, especially for the new Shanghai Studio, so thanks to the, to the amazing dev team. But it is possible, unlikely, but possible that it go on a downward spiral and then be cancelled, like Clash Quest. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't take global for granted. I do like this retweet from Frame though. The team can learn a lot from the mistakes in Clash Quest and, and eventually combined with their past game experience, they can create an epic game from those mistakes. And Clash Mini could be the one. And by the way, for those Clash Quest players who are looking for a different game, there's this other game from the same Clash IP. It's like this auto chess game where you place down minis and they go attack each other. Ah, oh, I forgot the name. What is it? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, let's end the video on a light note with an exciting announcement. I got into the creator program. If you don't know what that is, the Superstar Creator program is this, well, program for creators, as the name suggests. And we get some amazing resources from the dev team to create better content so you guys will get to see better videos and stuff. And one thing that you would be seeing from the creator program is early access to updates. So you will be getting updates sneak peeks from me firsthand. Like you see with Enchantment, for Frontage and Updod, all those big guys. So I just want to say I'm really thankful for the opportunity. I could not have gotten into the program without all of you guys. So I want to thank everyone in the steps to the journey of getting a tier 1 creator. And this is just the beginning, so let's try to create something amazing out of this. Comment what you are most excited for in the next update, and if this video hits 50 likes, I will do more mini news videos so you can keep up to date with the latest news. And since you made it to the end, I got a bonus news story. Clash Mini just released a secret update that can benefit your progression a lot. So here's a quick summary of the features. 